And you were there for peak Kobe. I, I just love these guys when you see it in their eyes, like, man, I'm going to kill you. I, I like I'm I, every possession. Uh, what was, did you have interaction with Kobe? Oh, so, so many, so many. And you, you know, I, it's two, it's two, it's two uh, instances that I remember. It's two situations. One in 2010, game seven. I was on the sideline. And what people have to realize is that whoever won that, whoever won the game in that series won the rebounding battle. In game seven, I believe Kobe shot six for 24. But what people don't realize is that I, he had like 15 or 16 rebounds. And you could just see that he had to go in the paint and go grab them boards and he was going to wield his team to victory. Then we had, I have another story. You know, I was playing in Oklahoma City and I switched out on Kobe, you know, on the pick and roll. Now, you know, I clapped my hands and I was like, let me see. <laughs> and, and he started, he, he hit me, you know, with an in and out between the legs cross in a, you know, in a, in a pull up jumper. And I almost, I almost failed. <laughs> and we was running back down the floor, and he was like, all right, don't make me tear that other ACL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I liked it. You were like, come on, bring it on. Like, yeah. That's the last guy. Him or Mike, those are the guys. And you don't do that to them. No, you don't. No. You don't. <laughs> no. And you know, he was the only guy that when we went through shoot around and preparation, it wasn't. It wasn't. No, this is the game plan for Kobe. The game plan for for the Lakers were let Kobe get his because we knew he was going to be aggressive and and counsel everybody else. That's the game plan when you played the Lakers with a Kobe bond. 